Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. Chef I is here, so I think our weekend is about to start and get a little bit better. Now, everybody loves a good pizza, but there can never be enough to go around. So, our meatball pizza puffs are the perfect solution for when you are entertaining and it's guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser, especially because it's Friday. It's pizza weather outside for sure. So, to try this recipe this weekend, SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs are charged at 1 round 50 each and free SMSs do not apply. I love a spicy meatball. I'm a now, fan of pizza oh, as well. But yeah. I, mean, I love the fact that I'm putting a twist to a pizza. How I awesome know. is that? You know, yesterday on the show, we yeah. actually made this bake with like a bread and butter pudding, yeah, yeah, but with yeah. bread, and which is oh, also like a nice yeah, yeah. pizzery kind of thing. I mean, anything to do with pizza, we absolutely, <laughs> absolutely love. So this is really nice. But I mean, is it when you tear it open, is it like a pizza? Well, it tastes like a pizza. That's, can I try that it? I can tell you. That I can tell you. Can I cut one open to taste? Okay, okay I'm going to just tear break one it. Just open. break it. I mean, oh my word! Look how delicious that pizza is. Pizza in like a shell. How yeah. beautiful is that? I can see we're going to have to put more cheese in it, though. <laughs> well, I'm just we, we, we spotted do, by this. We're about to make more of it, so I'm sure the yeah. next one you're going to put a lot of cheese in it. I promise you, I'll eat this one. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes to waste here in the afternoon <laughs> express kitchen. Okay, so what is this? So, Extra lean mints. So this is yeah, beef mints. Yeah. So we're going to start making our meatballs first, and then we're going to follow up with everything else. Okay. So I'm going to start um, with my garlic in here. Yeah. I love garlic and mince. Throw and all of that all garlic of it, in there. All of it, and you then know you why? Pick it out. If you have a lot of garlic in winter, you won't get sick. Apparently, it builds your, it boosts your immune system. That's another way of looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just garlic, salt and pepper, and then my um, Italian herbs, oregano okay. as well. Oh, so I hope Francisca is still here because <laughs> <laughs> she, maybe she can eat. She is going to be the judge <laughs> of this. Yeah, because, exactly. Because yeah, she knows more. Yeah. We're going full Italian. All right, I'm going to get in here with my hands. Yes. Would you like to get your hands dirty as well with no, this? No, I've just had a new manicure, so I'm going to leave oh, well. it to you. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. It's Friday. I get dirty in the kitchen Monday to Thursday. Friday, I just take pleasure in the kitchen. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start rolling this in balls, and you don't want to get like a, lot, a, a, a big balls on this. I mean, like 20 grams okay. should be fine. So I'm going to do this. Okay. So you're not helping me out today. No, I'm, I'm learning. This All is right. a learning experience for me. Okay. <laughs> but not, a, not too big, right? Because you need to fill them up in the pastry. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's got to cut that same size. Exactly. As that, okay. Exactly. And then what kind of pastry do you buy? Those butter So puff this pastry? is, um, we're using puff pastry, but also you can use um, your pizza dough. The reason why we're using puff pastry is that we want that crustiness on it. Yeah, I But do you can like always that. use um, your pizza dough if you want to, which is simple to make at home. And then it won't rise as much, hey, with the it, pizza dough. Well, it would, it would, it would, but it won't be as beautiful as that one. Because okay. I mean, that one is, was um, egg washed as well, so okay. it's going to get that beautiful golden brown Yeah, we want that. It, yeah. We're all into the aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so. So I'm rolling these things. I'm going to get that nice garlicky one. Oh, I'm going so to walk into my friend's house later after this, and um, her dog's going to be obsessed with me because I smell like meat and garlic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to start frying these. Do? I'm going to start frying these in my pan. Have those already been fried? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, we can fry those we as well. We've got lots of people exactly. to feed. And then also the idea, you don't want to overcook them, so you're just going to fry them for like five minutes to get that beautiful brown colour in yeah. them. Because you must also remember... Did I make that one too big? Yeah, it's fine. It's perfect. No, that one. No, that's perfect. Fine. It's fine. Because also, you might, we're going to put this in the oven, so it's going to cook further in the oven. So we're just going to give it some colour here now. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're helping me out, actually. Oh, well, because there you, you moaned about there it there earlier, I may as well <laughs> jump in and get involved. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. I always burn I myself burn over a stove. It means that I'm not a natural. There you go. All right. Okay, so next. While that is cooking, I'm going to be starting with my puff pastry here. Yeah. Where's that little dookie? Nice and clean. Uh, Those are looking fantastic. I think I did an amazing job. Okay, now how do we make puff pastry? When right. you buy it like that, you so roll it out and it looks like this. So this one wasn't rolled, we just cut it because we want all the layers when it pops up in the oven to okay. kind of show and also to look bigger. Because if you're going to roll it out, it won't go, it won't, it won't rise as much right. as that one. So we're going to use this one. So basically, as you would do with um, the pizza, this is the sauce. We've got um, this is chopped tomatoes from Woolies yeah. with herbs. So we're going to use this as our base okay. for our, our pizza. And then I'm going to add here yeah, my tomato paste. What is that? Tomato T paste? Tomato paste to kind of give you that extra um, zingness okay. to it. And then sugar. 
I made a pasta sauce the other day and I didn't throw in the, in the sugar because I thought I would be healthy. And you can notice the difference. It did come out very bittery. Yeah, because great. the sugar helps you to you know hide that sourness from it yeah. as well. You know, help you balance it as well. Yeah. So like, like you would do with your pizza. Okay. Your sauce. Yeah, I like that. You always work so gracefully in the kitchen. I do enjoy it. We work with such pride. You know, today with our musicians, yeah. we were talking about them finding their passions. Yeah. And you can see the way they perform. They just do it with all of their heart. You can feel but it, really. But that's the same you as you it. in the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky enough that my mom picked up my passion before I could even pick it up. I mean, really? she, yeah, she was like, you should try it out. And if it doesn't work for you, try something else. And yeah, this is. So, from even work. as a little boy, did you know that this was your your love? Not really. Wait, love, you have to because oh. remember you have to fold it up again. Oh so. man! <laughs> but Look no, at no, me no problem. A no, but so the thing you see, is, cooking isn't my passion. <laughs> well, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so basically, um, I grew up cooking a lot, but I didn't know I could I could make money out of it or like have it as, as a career. Yeah. And then after high school, my mom was like, try it out and see what's going to happen. And then I never looked back. So throughout high school, were you cooking at home for your family so and this taking up a lot of time in the that, kitchen? That too, but also um, I was that kid who never wanted to ask my parents for money to go party. So I would go to restaurants and ask if I can I wash dishes and all of that. So really? I was still in high school back then though, yeah. And then from there... That's so sweet. That is awesome. Okay, so I have thrown in extra cheese because I thought that one needed a bit of it. Wow, we love your cheese. I we do. Know that. Okay, then how do we and then, pop that in? And then you put your meatballs, and you must make sure that there's space, like a finger in between. Okay. All right? Yeah. Look at that. And look at that. Amazing. And then you just fold it over. Help me, help me with that. Okay. Awesome. And roll awesome. over. There you go. And then just press it softly. And then the, the idea also, you have, when you're pressing it down, you must try to get all the air out so that when it puffs up, it kind of looks beautiful like the ones that we did earlier okay. on. Okay. That's beautiful. Look at that. I wonder if Francesca will be able to, to see if we're good enough to move to Italy to go look in the kitchen there. <laughs> we'll have to impress her. Eh? And then just take a fork, a tip of the fork, and then you just keep on pressing them there. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you also just... kind of get that nice, colorful design on the side. You know yeah. those shapes you want yeah. to see that. I love that this is the theme of today's show, passion, because as you can see with Aya and as you saw with our other guests, when you do your work with passion, it just shows. We're just yeah. all blooming today. So now this is absolutely amazing. Eating this will be my passion. So to get the ingredients list and the link to the recipe sent to your phone, simply SMS EAT to 33650. Now, after the break, Eternal Africa sets the weekend mood with a lively performance from one of his latest productions.